Hey everyone, it's Michelle, and today I'm super excited because I'm unboxing my June Boxy Charms. I don't even know which one is which. Um, one is Boxy Premium and one is Boxy Luxe, but they're the same size box, and I have no idea which one's which. So, yeah, I'm just gonna open one up. <laughs> For those of you that don't know, Boxy Charm is a monthly beauty subscription. They've got three different tiers. They have their regular Boxy Charm box, which is $25, their premium box, which is $35, and then Boxy Lux, which that one's actually seasonal, comes four times a year, and that one is $50. So I canceled my $25 box a few months ago. Now I've just got the premium and the Lux, but I don't know, based on the spoilers, I'm getting so close to canceling. So we're just gonna have to see what I got this month and uh, go from there. All right, perfect. This is the Boxy Charm premium box. How many items did it come with? Six items for $35. The theme this month is The Oasis. I guess it's supposed to be very summery. Let's get on with the first item. Ooh. All right, this is the Too Faced Cocoa Contour Palette. It retails for $45, except I'm pretty sure this goes on clearance. I like Ulta, but whatever. I know it's gonna smell good. Mm, it's got that fake chocolate smell. This is a little more rich than their normal fake, fake chocolate smell. Um, yeah, no, I could use that as powder maybe. I could probably use that. I definitely couldn't use the deep contour or the deep highlight. I, uh, I like a cream contour, I don't know. This whole palette is a miss for me. I won't be keeping it at all. Next up, we've got the Glow Recipe Avocado Melt Retinol Sleeping Mask. Is this for your face or your eyes? I guess it's just a sleeping mask in general. Um, this retails for $49. I love Glow Recipe. They're actually one of my favorite skincare brands. Normally I'd be all over this product, but there's retinol in it. I am pregnant. I can't use retinol while I'm pregnant or breastfeeding, so this would probably expire by the time I get around to it. So I wouldn't have bought this. <laughs> Good product though, but no. All right, this is a Zoeva eyeshadow fix matte. I'm guessing it's a liquid matte shadow. I don't know. I've never actually purchased anything from Zoeva, but I've heard good things. Oh, this isn't a matte eyeshadow. This is like um, this is like a primer. I don't really wanna open it then. It retails for $12. I, I don't know, I wouldn't have bought this. I have a lot of eyeshadow primers. Oh, so far we're not doing too hot. Okay, come on, fucking BoxyCharm man. They're just trying to get rid of all this Kat Von D shit. You know it's not new because it still says Kat Von D on the box. This is one of the Inkwell liners. This is the sh shade trooper it's the black one last month i got a blue one love the blue color it was super intense but it was such a pain in the ass to dip this in every time you went to line because you got like a centimeter and then it would run out of ink so fuck this thing it retails for 20 dollars. bullshit it's at least down to 12 dollars on the sephora website no 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 all right next is a brush from billion dollar brows it says it's the simplest tool to achieve a perfect contour. This brush is super soft, actually. So I guess this side is more for your contour, and maybe this is my nose contour? I don't know. I'm not mad at this brush. It says it retails for $30. Jesus fucking Christ. Boxy Charm in their retail prices, man. Um, I actually might keep this. I don't hmm. It's just not that dense. That's what worries me. I don't know. I'll look up reviews on it. That's a maybe. Wouldn't have paid $30 for it, but it's a maybe. Okay, and the last product in the box is this Skin & Co. Sardinian Spirit Shower Gel. It retails for $22. Um, I won't be keeping this. I got one of these in a FabFitFun. It was a different scent, but still, I hated it so much. I want nothing to do with this one either, so I wouldn't have bought it. So the box retailed for $35. Um, I wouldn't have bought this, so this is worth $0 to me. I wouldn't have bought the retinol mask because I'm pregnant. Zero dollars to me. I wouldn't have bought this eye primer. Zero dollars to me. I definitely wouldn't have bought this fucking eyeliner. Zero dollars. I wouldn't have bought this shower gel. Zero dollars. And this brush, I could probably find it like TJ Maxx for seven bucks. So I would have paid seven dollars for what I'm keeping in this box. Hopefully I can sell a lot of this on Mercury or something. But uh, yeah, Boxy Premium is not worth it this month. Let's uh, jump into my Boxy Lux. Okay, this comes with eight products. Oh my fucking God. The first product is the Kylie Skin Foaming Face Wash by Kylie Skin. It retails for $24 and I wouldn't put this on my fucking skin. I think Kylie Skin is a crock of shit. I don't think she uses her own skincare. She has all the money in the world for surgery and estheticians and yeah, fuck, no, no, no. 
Pure Lace Beauty Perfect Glow BB Cream SPF 30. Does it have a shade? Light. Okay. I'll look this up. I would maybe use it. I don't know. I probably won't. <laughs> I'm the worst ever. It retails for $35. I'll look at the ingredients and see. Make sure there's no like chemical sunscreen in it. This is a maybe, but it's nothing I'm excited about and nothing I would have bought. This is intriguing at least. This is the Lily Lashes Triple X Mascara. It retails for $24. I'm actually gonna try this one. I don't wanna open it yet because I have so many open, um, but I can at least look at the tube. That's pretty basic. Not very weighted, but this I will try. Again, I don't spend that much money on mascaras because you can always get a good drug score, a good drugstore mascara, but at least this is kind of exciting. God, Jesus Christ. All right, this is the Tardis Pro. Um, it retails for $49, which again, this is always half price at Ulta. Like, you can get this on a discount all the time, even on the Tarte website, probably. I've actually had this palette. Ooh, it's not bad, um, but I, I, de I decluttered it because I never reached for it, and I, I still don't want to. So, yeah, I wouldn't have gotten this. Okay, this is the Hallmark Collection. Um, it's a satin pillowcase and mask set. So I actually just got one of these in my FabFitFun. Um, I like the leopard print though, that's really cute. So this I'll keep because it's, you know, a good backup. Ma I don't sleep in a mask like this. I can maybe save it for like a kid's birthday party doing pin the tail on the donkey or something. But yeah, it's not even sewn straight. Huh, okay. So this says it retails for $50. I. Okay, <laughs> okay, whatever. I'll keep the pillowcase at least. All right, this is the Billion Dollar Brows Charcoal Brush Set. The retail on it is $55. How many brushes does this come with? Ooh. Okay, so it's the same kind as before. Um, they're very soft. I will say that about these brush brushes. Super soft. They're just not really my speed. I don't have a need for these eyeshadow brushes. This is nothing special. Honestly, I am, I'm like so tapped out on brushes. Um, yeah, it looks like a decent set. They're like, there's some some weight to them. And like I said, they feel really soft, but I, I don't need them. This box is weird. Okay, this is Malin and Goats, maybe. I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right. It's a recovery treatment oil. So it's supposed to help the appearance of fine line and wrinkles, which I do need. Uh, this says it retails for $82. I've never heard of this brand. That's not to say it's not a great brand or it doesn't exist and blah, blah, blah. But, uh, yeah, I don't know. I'm not interested. It smells like essential oils. <clears throat> and then we've got the Bodyography Lip Pencil Set, Pouty and Rosewood. It retails for $28. Bucks. Is this just like two lip liners? Oh, yep. Okay. And they're wooden and I don't want them. I don't even need to look at the other one. No, all right, <laughs> let's break it down. Kylie Skin, never would have bought in a million years. I might try the Pure Lease. let's put five bucks on it. Let's, we'll go high, we'll put 15 on the Lily Lashes Mascara, but I really don't know if it's good or not. I would not have bought this Tarte palette, again, especially. The pillowcase, I would have spent like 10 bucks on it at TJ Maxx. If I'm being honest, I would have not have paid anything for this brush set. I wouldn't have paid anything for this essential oil. And just by the appearance, I'm judging these Bodyography lip liners harshly, and I would not have paid for them. So this box was $50 for the boxy Lux. I would have paid $30 for what I'm keeping. So again, not a good value. The good thing about BoxyCharm, I can, like always, sell what I don't want or like or plan to keep which usually I make my money back, so it's like, eh. Um, but I don't want to get a subscription box just to sell everything in it, you know? Like, I want to actually like what I'm getting. So with that being said, I am going to cancel my BoxyCharm. Finally, gonna cancel my BoxyCharm. Maybe I'll stick around, like, till the end of June just to see if they put out some, like, banger spoilers for July, but yeah, for now I'm gonna cancel. This is obviously totally subjective. If you're like, ah, I like everything in that box. You bitch. <laughs> That's fine. We're all different. But yeah, it just, it hasn't excited me for a while. It's still not exciting me. And I don't want pretty much anything in here. 
So yeah, if you get boxy charm, please let me know if you got the same things in your box as I did, or if you got anything different, let me know in the comments. But as always, thank you guys so much for watching. I love you guys so, so much, and I'll see you later.